What's up everyone, this is Puka, and this video is going to serve two purposes. The first one is an announcement. Um, a lot of people might not know this. You have one day left to redeem older set booster codes um, if you want to get booster credits. So you see up here, I have 22 of these booster credits. So uh, in the past, you were able to redeem any of your codes through right here. You would enter the codes, and then you would get a booster credit, all right? And then you could go to the shop, and then you can pick a pack from any of these sets, and then you get a pack from that set. All right, but June 30th, I believe, is the last day you can do that, all right? After that day, any time you enter a code, you will just get the code, or you'll just get a booster pack from the set that the code is from. So say I have... Like a code from Black and White, a code from Emerging Powers, and a code from Nova Victories. I'll actually just get those packs instead of getting the booster credits. They're doing away with the whole booster credit thing. So, um, first, that's just an announcement for that. Now, second, uh, I have 22 booster credits that I'm probably never going to use. So, I, all, I pretty much have everything on Pokemon TCG Online. All I don't have is the lovely Call of Legends foil energy. So right here, I am just going to buy 22 packs worth of Call of Legends in honor of the booster credits phasing out. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the only worthwhile thing uh, we can get anymore. There's the energy. Maybe I could get some primes from some other sets, but I'm going to go all in here with my packs and get energy, and uh, we're going to laugh at the horrendous cards that I'm about to get from these packs. Call of Legends is one of the worst sets ever. Um, Alright, so let's redeem my 22 booster packs and then get to opening them. Oh yeah! Nice and shiny packs. Apparently the only art they have is the Deoxys pack art. Um, <laughs> Alright, maybe we'll get a shiny Deoxys uh, and maybe I'll trick someone into trading me for that Deoxys instead of a Deoxys EX. Alright, so we're gonna head over to the shop. Uh, um, Another thing is this update really made the game laggy. Uh, I don't like that, but we'll see. Look, it's taken quite a while for the game to respond to any of my clicks here. Is oh, there we go. Hey, hey, it moved. Oh, did I just have to click somewhere else? Oh, there we go. All right. So here we go. 22 packs. Number one we got. Dun, 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 dun. Weezing and Totodile. Yeah, this is why this set is so bad. Honestly, this set was not terrible, I guess. It did have a lot of playable cards at the time, but they were mostly just reprints and stuff like Lost World was... I mean, that introduced a new mechanic to the game. Uh, but otherwise, boy, when this is your rare, and this is probably an average rare for the set, uh, we're going to see some interesting stuff here. All right, so I'm going to continue to open these Call Legends packs. I don't want this to take all day. Oh, man, a shiny Kyogre. Oh, man. Destructive Tsunami. What a pull. If you get heads, you do 40 to all of your opponent's Pokemon. Let's not talk about what happens when you get Tails. Um, and the fact that it costs 4 Water Energy. Alright, Shiny Kyogre. What a good start here. Now, I would trade all of my... Well, I would trade a Shiny Kyogre in for just, like, one Energy, honestly. Um, we'll see. That pack was just not even worth looking at. Uh, we did have Lost Remover. That was a big card at the time in Call of Legends. And you can see this game is just lagging so horribly right now. Uh, this update really has kind of killed the enjoyment. Uh, hopefully they fix all these problems. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like even the the flashing new thing it just keeps freezing. Like, look, it just froze again. Uh, yeah, that's not good. All right, maybe minimizing the chat will help. Um, there we go. Boy, this is going to take a lot longer than I thought just because um, the game keeps freezing. All right, we got a Mr. Mime, a Mischievous, Sage Training. Um, got a good Chikorita. But we're going to keep going. And, oh, it's not the, uh, it's not the energy I was looking for, man. Uh, but it is a dark energy. I guess that's not bad. If I ever want to build an old dark ride deck from 
2012. <laughs> uh, oh, we got a Palkia. Oh, boy. Um, now, this set is known for having like the worst legendary Pokemon ever. Uh, wormhole. For the low cost of four water energy, you do 60 damage. And then both players switch. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right, next we got a uh, Dialga. Yeah, all right, we got it. Okay, this might be one of the worst attacks in the history of the Pokemon TCG. Time rewind. Four metal energy. 70 damage, all right. Shuffle your hand into your deck. That's that's it. There's no... You know, usually you would, would, would just shuffle your hand into your deck. There's, um, there's another line after it that says, like, draw x number of cards uh no this one's just shuffle your hand into your deck and you just you just don't have a hand anymore um also the retreat cost thing is really tiny i don't know what's going on here but uh man we got a shiny dialga uh reverse hollow apparently i don't i don't think those exist but we got one all right Next, we have uh, a Meganium. All right, my favorite Pokemon. All right, that's not a wasted pack. We got 13 to go. Still no energy. Yep. Uh, Fortress, this has one of the funniest attack names ever. Everyone explode now. I'm pretty sure that is not in the video game. <laughs> uh, all right, next... We have uh, a Magmortar and a Miss Magius and how do you pronounce this? Miss Miss Magius. It's probably how it's probably supposed to be announced. Whatever. Um, Rayquaza. Oh boy. Oh man. Inferno Spear. A hundred damage. That's better than the other ones. That's for sure. Uh, but it does take two fire and two lightning, and then you have to discard a fire and a lightning. Ugh. What were they thinking with these cards? Alright, next. Ten packs to go. Still no energy. Another Palkia. Boy, this one doesn't even shine, apparently. Um, but we got we got another Palkia. Thank goodness. We have a lot of Lost Removers, too. If anybody needs those, let me know. Okay, we got a Jirachi. This was a very good card at the time. The, the Time Hollow. And Stardust Song was a really nice ability. These cards are just formatted so horribly. They really didn't pay much attention to this set, did they? Uh, look, the text is overrunning onto my attack name and again the retreat cost um clearly just nobody cared about call of legends they just <laughs> they just did it as quickly as possible all right we got a lugia uh for five energy we do 80 damage oh boy um to put this in perspective linear attack for one water and two colors does 30 damage to one of your opponent's pokemon um and landorus ex's hammerhead for a single fighting energy, does 30 to the active Pokemon and 30 to a benched Pokemon. Um, that is just how good this Lugia is. Next, seven packs still have not seen an energy. Oh boy. Um, I don't think we're going to get one. Nine Tails, though. This was a very good card. Roast Reveal. Discard a fire. Draw three cards. Thumbs up for Nine Tails. I kind of wish we had that nowadays, although I don't think there's any decks that would really play fire energy. All right, Smeargle, this card was ridiculous. Portrait, you got to look at your opponent's hand and use a supporter there. Uh, it caused some ridiculous turns. You could use a bunch of supporters. You could even use multiple Smeargles in a turn. That was good. Cleffa, of course. Eek. Nowadays, this would be suicide, but eh, this was a great card for a very long time. I uh, really just kind of lost... Playability when Darkrai came out and Night Spear could do 32 bench Pokemon. Uh, but it was very good for a while. Another Smeargle. Apparently, the reverse foils from this set are just non hollow, which, uh, you know, I'm actually okay with. I wish that would happen in real life. Um, I would like some non hollow versions of cards. Hollow cards tend to bend a lot. Alright, three packs left. Are we going to get an energy? No, but we're going to get a third Palkia. Uh, I, I can't wait to build my quad Palkia deck and play it in Unlimited. Um, I, I think that's the only way I'll ever use those Palkias. I don't think anyone even wants those. Two packs to go. Still no energy. Um, all right, another Dialga. We can make a Palkia Dialga deck. 
Um, water and metal are on the same blend. All right, we can make it happen. And uh, a Gyarados. Oh, baby. Now we're talking. But we got one pack to go here. I'm not going to open these other packs. But one Call of Legends pack to go. 21 packs have been opened. I have not gotten a single foil basic energy, which is what I've just been trying to get the whole time. Uh, last pack. Here we go. Oh, did we get one? Uh, no. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, well, you got a Tangrowth, though. Does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to Tangrowth. Uh, you know, that's half as good as Mewtwo EX. <laughs> All right, well, my quest for Call of Legends energy continues. If you guys have any, uh, please let me know. I'll, I'll trade you for them. I don't even think you can put them in decks, honestly. I don't think they are modified legal on Pokemon TCG Online, which is something else I need to get fixed. Oh, apparently I have zero packs now. Can I open the zero pack? Is that, I'm going to be... Did I break the game? Oh. Well, it, it lags a lot when I click that button. All right. Good. So you can't open the zero pack. All right. Well, thanks for letting me know I have zero packs. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little pack opening. This, um, well, you got to look at an older set, I guess. There's probably some players who uh, just jumped in this season that haven't seen older cards. And uh, Call of Legends was a doozy of a set. So got to look at some cards. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll have some more videos for you soon. This is Puka here from the Top Cut, and I'll see you guys next time.